I solemnly declare that I will speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Elvedin Pasic was 14 when the Bosnian war turned his young life upside down. 20 years later, he gave evidence against the man accused of executing some of the worst atrocities of the late 20th century. Somebody came from the group and says the Serbs are all around, we're surrounded. And that's when the, the firing started again and the chaos everywhere. At times calm and methodical, at times overcome by emotion, this first witness for the prosecution described his experiences as a Muslim boy in a country being torn apart by ethnic bloodletting. When I walked by, I saw Bessim, his lines blown away. And he was crying and yelling, give me something, kill me or something. And just my dad grabbed me and says, don't look. We were trying to jump over this river. To me, it looked big, I don't know, but I think they left him something later when we were on the other side, we heard the gunshot, I think he killed himself. The events Elvid in Passage has been describing are some of the lesser known atrocities of the Bosnian war, but on Monday the remains of 520 newly identified victims of the Srebrenica massacre were being prepared for a burial ceremony in two days time. On these trucks behind you, there's a body of a 94-year-old woman, boys younger than 15 years old, over 500 people from the Serbinitsa region. The process of identification goes on, and that's a difficult process. The murder of 8,000 people at Srebrenica in 1995 is the most infamous of Ratko Mladic's alleged crimes. Prosecutors say that as head of the Bosnian Serb army, he was part of a joint criminal enterprise to eliminate the Muslims of the region. Mladic is also held responsible for the three-and-a-half-year siege of Sarajevo, in which it's thought 10,000 civilians died. Despite an international arrest warrant, the alleged war criminal evaded capture for years. He was arrested in May last year at a farmhouse in northern Serbia. Like the former Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadic, who's also on trial at The Hague, Mladic has pleaded not guilty to the charges against him. But if found guilty, both of these men will likely spend the rest of their lives behind bars. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera.